What's good, TTF gang? It's your boy, TTF gang. And I'm back with another reaction. Y'all have... Y'all put in the comments a lot more Mexican OT reactions. So we got a new song here uh, from Mexican OT called Cowboy and the Escalade featuring Trap Boy Freddy. Uh, we about to get right into this reaction. I want y'all to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to put songs down in the comments y'all want me to react to. Um, or if I miss something in the song, like I missed a bar or something, put it down in the comments. Like, boy, you missed over this one. Yeah, I, this is my first time hearing this, so like... I'm not one of those reactors that listen to the song six or seven times and then I react to it, bro. I'm re this is my real first time listening to it. Um, so yeah, my socials are up top. If y'all want to follow me on anything, um, my Instagram is TTF underscore underscore gang. I don't know if y'all can see that right here, but that's two underscores. Um, and yeah, let's get right into this reaction. We and there will be pausing. This is a reaction. I don't want to get copyright strike, so I will be pausing. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't judge me. Who got the most contagious? Like their their city got the most contagious. Like okay, so LA don't count. LA has the most contagious culture, but like after LA, Texas is high up there. I say Texas, Atlanta, and then us Chicago. New York, New York, yeah, New York too. Who y'all think got the most contagious culture besides LA? Everybody know LA number one, but who has? Because I would love it. I I want to move to Texas. Um, I love their culture. I love if I love their culture, their music. I love the way they drive their cars, their swingers. They they uh, it's just like everybody get along. Like whites, blacks, Mexicans, everybody. It seems like in Texas is just family, but like it's opposite in Chicago. Like, the blacks stay with the blacks. I mean, you might have Mexican homies. You might have um, white homies. But, like, in Texas, it seemed like, like they're, everyone is together. But, like, in Chicago, most of the Mexicans and on their gang banging shit, you know what I'm saying? They don't fuck with the blacks. I mean, of course, there are people that it, I guess it could be like that any, everywhere. I might just be talking right now. Let's just get right into the reaction. But let me know what city y'all think has the most contagious culture. You're not a little ass Mexican. Listen, we've already... We've already put you on the on the big back side of, of, of the hip hop. We claim you. You can't go nowhere now. We got you, Rahway, uh 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 or Big X the plug. We got Rick Ross. Uh we got some country singers too. We got Luke Combs. Uh nigga, we got a lot of, you know what I'm saying, big backs. Yeah, you don't say a little Mexican. You the big dog. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's straighten that up. You the big dog. You a big Mexican. I had a feeling you was trying to do me dirty, but you my dog, nigga. I pushed that feeling away. You my homie. I know you would never do me like that. Oh my god, bruh. Mexican OT is highly slept on. I know he just made a uh, freshman cover, but that nigga is hard. That nigga is hard. Pause. Hard. He said, hold up. It's like said he woke up today. Hold up. Let me. Stay in the house like Corey. Like Corey in the house. Bro, I, I don't know how old is. Let me see. How old is Mexican OT? Y'all can put it down in the comments, actually. How old is Mexican OT? 
Is he a young nigga, I think. I'm pretty sure he's a young nigga. I fuck with Mexican OT so much. Like, I, and I get what he was saying um, in the double XL freestyle. Like, uh, stop comparing me to the Mexicans, bitch. I'm shitting on the whites and blacks, too, nigga. I'm, I'm, this nigga's one of the toughest artists out right now. There's not a lot of up-and-coming artists right now that are fucking with that. I can't really think of. I can't really think of really up and coming artists right now that's actually doing something besides Mexican OT. Sexy Red, I would say she's been in the game for a while. Like I'm I'm just thinking of just newer people. Glow Rilla's been here for a while. Mexican OT is like one of the newest. The only two people I would say are newer is Mexican OT and Big X the Plug, and they both from Texas. Um Boss Man D Lo. Yeah, he's on a freshman cover too. Bossman D-Lo knew. But Mexican OT is up there. Like, top three and not the three. It could be one or two. I don't know. I don't know who I would put above him right now that's really coming up. But Mexican OT is up there, bro. Mexican OT is definitely top three right now. Push my teeth and I get to the money and stay in the house like court. Uh -huh. Bitch, I'm from Dirty Bay, I put it in the face, so no, they can't ignore me. Uh -huh. Throw a couple of V-Lords at a bitch that rapper because his rhymes is corny. Uh -huh. Like I said on the cow, I'm cold with the shoulders, I push on, look at Rick Sporty. Uh -huh. Diamond straight from the earth, they was been a good guy, but this house is prehistoric. Uh -huh. My y'all boy thought it, she trying to catch up on the bodies and have a whole orgy. Uh -huh. Used to post on that block with them rocks in my socks. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is this? Okay, so this is Trap Boy Freddy. I've never heard any music from Trap Boy Freddy. Um, so if there are other songs I need to look into, y'all put it down in the comments. This is my first. And where is he from? Put it down in the comments where he's from also. Used to post on that block with them rocks in my socks. You already know I had me a Glock with me. Used to ride with my shirt off, double that workout. No back then was a hot nigga from the H to the D. I had that work in the C. We were packing and rolling in cheap. All my spots gonna roll every day of the week by two niggas leaving with three. See, back then we were looking up. All my spots gonna... Hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I missed the bar. Hold up. Spots gonna roll every day of the week by two niggas leaving yeah, okay, okay. We were looking up the cheeto and papa. They had the whole hood pop. Hey, step daddy hit me with a pack. Got the whole hood rocking. Then I learned how to drop it. This nigga said his step, his step daddy hit him with a pack, nigga. His step daddy. Nigga, what? That's <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Nigga supposed to be a father figure. Got you, got you slugging that shit. That's insane. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> Then I learned how to drop it, it got me a dope. I fell in love with the dope. Used to sell feed so kicking your dope. I heard a lot of niggas, yeah, you, you say out. I, I don't know how you do it because I am a civilian. I know niggas used to shave the soap bar. And yeah, yo, yo, and then sell it. Sell it, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know exactly how it goes because I'm a civilian. I'm a civilian. I want the feds to know that before y'all come knocking at people's doors, I would never do anything like that. Yeah, give me more music from him too. He was talking dirty. I like that. Why they got lights on this Escalade though? Nah, I fuck, I fuck with uh that Mexican OT. That nigga is hard, bro. That nigga is hard. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the song. I know I probably missed a lot of bars. I was really just vibing out to the song. But y'all let me know how y'all felt about the song. Um, and if there's other songs I need to react to, put it down in the comments. Uh, I love y'all to death, man. Live y'all life to the fullest because you don't never know when your last day on this earth is going to be. Um, and with that being said, I'll see y'all on the next video.